Fearing of Flat Earth, Part 1. In 1883, a conference of the International Geodetic Association was held in Rome. They recommended a zero-longitude prime meridian be officially established in Greenwich, England. This conference was followed by the International Meridian Conference in Washington, D.C. in October of 1884, where the recommendation was agreed to and adopted by the international community. Side note, the Geodetic Association, who made the initial recommendation, also have a database that placed a network of survey markers all over the Earth. These survey markers officially triangulate short distances and apply the spherical law of cosines theorem to invert flat plane distances into spherical measurements. This method of measurement keeps Earth's positional reference points fed to international agencies via their database, which renders a mathematical model of a globe Earth. This global model is fed to all connected GPS devices, informing outputs such as our digital maps on our handheld devices, in our cars, and the instrumentation used by airlines. You may even walk down the street and notice these markers in the sidewalk every so often. Joined to the decision of positioning Greenwich as the zero prime meridian, a decision was also made to change the numbering of the longitudes. On old maps, we can see that between the zero or prime meridian and the 180 degree or antimeridian, now the international dateline, the maps counted forward by five degrees and continued counting all the way back to the zero longitude. The decision was made in 1884 at the conference in Washington, D.C. that longitudes would now reverse count from the 180 degree back to the prime meridian in Greenwich, England. The question has to be asked, why would they need the 180 meridian to be the point where they started counting backwards? Considering it naturally goes through northern Siberia, they had to zigzag this line through the Bering Sea between the Diomede Islands and back again. Alaska is held at a 21-hour time difference to Siberia, which is allegedly across the Bering Strait at the Diomede Islands, which are only 2.4 miles apart. One of them is in Russia and one is in the Alaska time zone. The time difference needs to be investigated. Thank you for listening to part one.